Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Wednesday's story is nation states targeting antivirus companies. This comes from the latest Snowden leaks. An article from The Intercept talked about how the NSA and the GCHQ, those are the intelligence agencies for the United States and the UK, uh, basically how they're targeting antivirus companies in other countries. This article points out how the GCHQ looked to get a warrant to uh, reverse engineer Kaspersky's antivirus programs. Basically, they wanted to see if there were any flaws in the programs and to see if they could evade the programs to create malware that got past Kaspersky antivirus. The documents also include detail on how the NSA may have intercepted some of Kaspersky's email uh, in order to learn how uh, their products worked and also tried to reverse engineer the communication mechanisms to gain a lot of customer information about uh, Kaspersky's product users. Long story short, it sounds like these intelligence agencies were trying to learn where they might be able to leverage flaws in the Kaspersky antivirus to maybe take over a system or just leverage flaws that would allow their nation state malware or attacks to get past security systems that were protected by Kaspersky. Anyways, this is a fascinating new Snowden leak. There's really no practical takeaway. There's nothing you can do about this directly. However, I think this sets a very horrible precedence. No matter what your politics, no matter what country you live in, I do not think nation states should be targeting security companies even if they're in other countries, even if they don't necessarily trust that security company. If you are finding and creating zero-day attacks or evasion techniques in other products, you're kind of opening the door for other actors and other nation states to do the same for your security products. I would rather government entities and nation states focus on plugging the holes in all security products to defend everyone against these attacks. Finding a zero-day attack and sitting on it just makes everyone at risk when another bad guy stumbles upon the same attack. Anyways, it's just a fascinating new Snowden leak. If you want details about it, be sure to check out the Intercept article. That's it for today. Thank you for watching.